Patton has five production units in West Bengal. We are into steel and plastics and exports 100% to US. And when we talk about exports to US, there are three things, quality, delivery and price. All purchase orders come with arrival date. There is no departure, how, why, what. So you have to be working backwards. And it has been going on for more than two decades. And we are very, very clear that in exports, there is no tomorrow. So that's how we work. Quality is like a visa. If you don't have visa, you can't enter. And then price, because of the steep competition internationally and more so from our close friends, China and others, you have to be cost competitive. See, Bengal has tremendous locational advantages. It's the hub for entire Northeast and the neighboring states and also neighboring countries like Manawa, Nepal, Bhutan, whatever we call it. So it has a big geographical area. Also, it is close to natural resources like steel, coal, and we have the port here. So basically, ultimately, whatever is required in terms of raw material requirements you have, then what you need is human resource. And in West Bengal, the intelligence level of our colleagues is something you know which we can compare to the best in the world. As I said earlier, the experience could not have been better. There is no strike and there has been no reason for any complaint. And people are coming here, our overseas buyer, they come, they see and then they give more orders, they want to give more products. So it has been a very good working atmosphere. As far as challenges are concerned, basically one is perception problem. West Bengal's perception for whatever reasons in the outward world, I would say, both in India and internationally, we need to change. And that is the job of all of us concerned. It's not only the government, it's government, industry and individual. We need to increase our productivity as the cost goes up. It is in our own interest that, you know, our output, our productivity matches according to the rise in the cost. See, first and foremost, I would like to say that there is a total transparency. When you are going towards e-governance, then transparency is a part and parcel of it. Number two, instead of people coming to government, now government is going to people like the chief minister, her colleagues and departmental secretaries. They go to different districts, they go and you know have a mini cabinet meeting there. And number three, I always say that it is peace, progress and prosperity. Until unless you have peace, you cannot progress and you can't prosper. From jungle mile to silk mile, that is a very, very big thing. I am always a very optimist and uh, we are born Bengalis. If I say born Bengalis, it means our heart lies here, our action lies here, and Bengal is our karma bhumi. We would urge and request all our industry friends from elsewhere, both in India and internationally, to come and see for themselves. My suggestion, as I said earlier, that you have to come and you have to see, you have to talk to people. It is not only that, uh, you know, whatever government says, people just believe it on the face value. Let us be very honest and realistic about it. And when people talk of their own working experience, along with the government policy, along with the policy at the top, that is 1 plus 1 is 11.